In this video, we'll learn to multiply two digit by one digit numbers. What are two digit numbers? There's other numbers with two digits, like 12, 24, 83, so they have two digits. And 7 is a one digit number. So 12 times 7. I've shown here just two ways that I can represent 12 times 7 or 7 times 12, because they mean the same thing. So I've put lots of 12, 10 and the 2, 12. So there are seven lots of 12 with orange cubes. With the brown cubes, I'll, I've shown 12 lots of 7. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lots of 7. They both give me the same amount or number so I'll just show you one more way, one more way of representing 12 times 7. So this is how I'll show you. How is this 12 times 7? I've got 12 columns of 7 each, but I've got 7 rows of 12 each as well. So this is just another way to show it. And we'll go through the method of working these out as well. So one way to work this out or one method to work this out is called the grid method. How does that work? Now I've got 12 on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split those into 10 and 2. So 10 and 2. And of course, there are 7 rows throughout. So I'll do the same thing over here. I'll create a small grid. Okay, so I've got 10 and 2 and I've got 7. So... I've got seven lots of 10, seven rows of 10 each, which is easy to work out because we know that we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So seven times 10 is 70. It's nice and easy to work with. And then I've got seven rows of two as well. So that is 14. So... 7 times 12 gives me 70 and 14, which is 84. So notice what I did. I put these numbers at the top. So I split 12 into 10 and 2. And I've got 7 on the other side. Let's do one more example. Let's say we'll do... Fifty three times six. Okay, so fifty three. I'll split into fifty and three. And the six, I could put it here, but I could put it there as well. So I'll try it this way. It does not matter. So three times six, or three lots of six, is eighteen. 50 lots of 6 or 6 lots of 50. That The easy way to work it out is by doing 6 times 5, which gives me 30, and add the 0 at the end, which is 300 now. So the answer is 318, which gives me 318. So this is the grid method. We'll now look at other methods. The lattice method works in a very similar way to the grid method that we've just seen. So I will again draw a simple grid. So I've got two numbers at the top and one number on the side, either side. So I'll put it here. So I've got 12. Now difference between this and the grid is that I'll write 12 as I would do normally. 
so not separating it into tens and twos, tens and units, which is ten and two in this case. So I've got twelve times seven. So I'll go two times seven is fourteen. I'll separate those tens and the units here and I'll do the same with the other one. One times seven is seven. So it's uh, zero tens and seven units. And I'll extend these diagonals. So in this part, I've got just four. So I'll write four. And I've got here one and seven, which makes eight. And I've got zero there, so I don't need to write that. So the answer is 84. Let's try it with another number. Let's say we've got, again, maybe 53 times six, like we did before. So, 53 times 6, okay, two digits. So, I need to separate these in halves diagonally. 3 times 6 is 18, so 1 and 8. 5 times 6 is 30, so 30 there. Extend the diagonals. We have just 8 here. We've got 1 and 0, which makes 1, and I've got a 3. So 318 is the answer. We'll now look at the column method, which is the more traditional way of multiplying. 12 times 7. So what we do, we normally put the biggest number at the top. So 12 times 7. We line them up like this. So what we do first is we multiply 7 by the 2, by the unit. So it's like doing 7 times 2, looking at this lot first. Because what could happen, just like now, 7 times 2 or 2 times 7 gives me 14. And as you might recall from addition and subtraction, we, in, in addition uh, specifically, we might need to carry over. So that's the case because 7 times 2 is... 14 so I put the units down and I need to carry over that 10 to the next part So now I'll do seven lots of the one which is effectively seven times ten because the two holds the place so that would be seven times the one Which is seven and the one we had makes 8. So that value of that 8 is in fact 80 because we've got the 4 here instead of the 0. So that is 84. Now let's do the other example like we had 53 times 6. So again we start with the units. 6 times 3 gives me 18. So I put the 8 down and one carried over so that one as we said before represents the tens that we have because in 18 it is the unit and that one represents the tens so we're moving it to the tens column now we've got six times five which is 30 and the one makes 31 so 318 would be the answer